I'm about to embark on a 3,500 mile journey across the Atlantic in a rowing boat, hopefully setting two Guinness World Records, the first physically disabled person to row any ocean from mainland to mainland, and I want to beat the able-bodied record, which currently stands at 96 days, 12 hours and 45 minutes. I lost my leg in a motorway accident. I've done three tours of Afghanistan, two of Iraq, and in 2014, whilst driving back to work, uh, I came across a vehicle that had crashed into the central reservation on the M3, pulled over and I was helping the people out when another car crashed into theirs and I was hit by an engine. Rowing an ocean is a really strange physical endeavour to prepare for. I expect whilst I'm rowing, my daily routine will be around 18 hours a day rowing. The, the Atlantic Ocean is so destructive, it just destroys everything. It's quite a gruelling routine. I put on around two and a half, three stone for this row and I expect to lose in excess of three, three and a half stone. I suppose what I'm looking forward to most are those moments um, when the sea's just flat calm and it's like glass or, or when you see dolphins or whales. And it, it is amazing and be incredible. When I first lost my leg, I really felt that I had to redefine who I was. If I, as a disabled man, could go out and break an able-bodied record in something as physical as rowing across an ocean, then that should send a massive message out there that no one should be defined by disability.